Everyone knows I love Aldi. So, I covered it completely in oven cleaner. Took about a can. And left it for uh, half an hour to set up. Came back, rinsed it over with a sponge. And then actually wash washed it with car wash. I took the headlight covers off. They're sitting over in the trailer. Because I like a good headlight cover. But... I remember a few years ago, it lost one when it got stowed in here. And I sourced another one from the records for five bucks. So it just keeps it that original survivor look about it. Paintwork's come up really well. It needs a polish still, but I'm really, really happy with it. It's so much better. The back bar needs a bit of paint, but I'll deal with that. But it looks like a, someone actually cares for the car. So the headlight covers are there. I'll throw them back on. Go to my clean. The boot, I cleaned, put a hose, and I just cleaned out all through here because it was just chock a block of mud. Just pulled the boot lining out, hosed everything. And under the bonnet, a little bit just there, deal with that. Under the bonnet, I pulled the inspection plates off here and here, pulled the power steering uh, reservoir out of the way, and got a hose and blasted the shit out of it. So all the leaves and crack and for 25 years worth of it, whatever, got cleaned out. So it's actually sort of semi nice and nice air will flow through there now. And I think I washed other oh, the mud there. That was the mud that came out of inside the uh, the valance panel for the windscreen wipers. Yeah, I'm really really happy with it. So give it a polish, get the dog out of the picture, and um, yeah, it'll give it a survival look.